Big Games has just dropped the Update 20 dev blog and it seems like there are a lot of changes that we expected as well as some very small but major changes that we didn't. Now this week I'm going to try to go over them a little quicker than I did last week. From new exclusive eggs all the way up into these new huge upgrades that we were looking forward to. There's a lot to unpack here so let's just get right into it. So in this disco party update we can expect new event zones. So as expected we're going to have three new zones that we have to grind really quickly so that we we can get to this final dance floor it does look like it's still out of 500 tiles which is a good thing since we are getting those new upgrades for damage and stuff like that i was thinking they could potentially change that but it looks like they didn't so far now new eggs we got those three new eggs and in those new eggs we have the chance for the huge rave butterfly so they did add the new huge to the final egg now it doesn't say here that they removed the old huge that was in here so we could potentially be having a chance to get both of these huges from the egg so not bad at all let's just keep going with those new eggs we have new pets so we can hatch six new pets from the new zones good luck on hatching the new best stat pet which is the disco ball dragon so the disco ball dragon looks like it's this thing right here which it honestly looks pretty sick so we could look forward to getting that right there and then going over these new limited huge pets so we have that huge rave butterfly which is in that final egg and then we have the huge rave jaguar which is actually earned from those lucky tiles as well so again i'm not sure if we are still going to be able to get that rave kitsune as well as this rave jaguar from the tiles but i'm sure we'll see that very soon in game this is what those both look like Ooh, the jaguar actually looks sick i must just be a fan of this kind of art style because it seems like all of the pets from this world are honestly pretty sick all right so getting into the juicy stuff we have those rave tickets use rave tickets to unlock new upgrades they're dropped from lucky tiles as well as the global event and as always i'll probably have a video out later tonight on the best way to actually get these rave tickets i'll just have to do quite a bit of testing so that video will probably be out in like the next 12 hours or so so look forward to that because we can actually use these rave tickets to get rave upgrades so it says here we can upgrade our lucky tile chances egg chances pet damage and more each upgrade has four tiers to unlock each with better perks so this is what the machine's gonna look like as you guys can see from the picture it says plus 200 percent huge chance from lucky tiles now off the bat i'm gonna assume these tickets are untradeable so you can't just go ahead and buy them from the trading plaza it would be absolutely crazy if you could trade these but either way though it looks like you can afford multiple tiers of these things so I'm not sure if these Rafe tickets are going to be like too limited to the point where you should only spend it on the upgrades that you want. But it does seem like the strategy is to just upgrade this ticket chance upgrade all the way to the max before you get anything else. Just so you could get as many tickets as possible and get all the other upgrades. Next up we have the juicy stuff. So we have the brand new Valkyrie exclusive egg featuring the Valkyrie Pegasus as well as the Valkyrie Wolf and the Valkyrie Dog. So this should be pretty cool so here is that titanic pegasus and honestly i'm not really a huge fan of this off the bat i don't like the glowy blue color that it has on it i think that kind of ruins the aesthetic of it in general and here are the other pets from that valkyrie egg it looks like each tier of them has like that glowing color on it and I, i'm not really a huge fan of that i think it would look a lot better if it just had that valkyrie theme to it and not like the, the glowing colors either way though it's a good thing we finally got a new exclusive egg so our exclusive flex egg investment is finally going to go up so that is good and of course we have the new disco pack which will allow you to waste all of your robux if you want and that gives you a chance at the huge disco ball dragon that's in this pack and it looks like it's the exact same style of pet from the stat pet so this is going to be the best stat pet so they made the best stat pet into a huge as well and honestly it looks pretty sick so that should be pretty cool from the disco pack you can get these new valkyrie eggs it's going to be in here as well as those disco booths and disco hoverboard and those upgrades for the tiles at the top it says change one star ranked quest to be afkable so honestly i'm not sure exactly what this means i'm not sure if this means that they just changed these quests to be more like the other quests but i'm pretty sure with macros these were already afkable in the first place i'm not too sure what this means but i guess we'll see that in game changed event pets to show their event world damage in the event world 
So I think this is good because I think we're going to be able to see more accurately what the event pets are doing. Because if you watched the last video on actually how to grind the rave world the fastest, we discovered that the stat pets aren't exactly the power that they show. And in this event world, the damage that you do is based off of whatever the stat pets are. So even if your stat pets are stronger power from the normal world, your damage isn't based off of those at all. It's only based off of the stat pets that are in this world. So I'm sure we'll see that more in game and then they also changed balloon gifts to be lower so that they can be more easily clicked so i'm not too sure about that change i don't know why they would make that easier not sure if this is going to make it even more exploitable than it was in the past and they also changed clicking balloon gifts to take out the slingshot shoot it and put it away all right so it seems like they made it a whole lot easier for exploiters to Take advantage of these balloon gifts so i'm not too sure why they would change that but maybe they're cooking maybe they have a way to detect it so they just wanted to make it easier for regular players to play and use it surely right you guys <laughs> let's just move on change the lucky tiles to not shuffle for you if you're not included okay so that, that's a good change fix how it looks they finally fixed that item no longer available pop-up that was getting stuck on my screen if you guys watch my live streams you know i was getting this error back to back to back and it was making trading like pretty much unbearable so they fixed event pets to show the correct power in the inventory so this is what we talked about earlier with that damage they finally removed the confirmation when purchasing gates now this obviously wasn't a big deal but hopefully this will save us some time when grinding these new areas because i'm not sure why anyone would not want to buy a gate so it there's not really a reason to have a confirmation on it in the first place. And that looks like it's pretty much it. So let's actually hop into this update and play it for ourselves. All right, you guys. So off the bat, it does look like this new power system is working. As you can see, it says my best stat pet is all of these UV pets now. And then all of like the real world stat pets are all just 30. So I guess if you go ahead and use these pets, you're only going to be getting 30 power for each one. And then right now, currently, the best one I have is this rainbow shiny uv kitsune which is 1.95k correction actually this rave mebo in a spaceship is 3.73k but for some reason it's like somewhere in the middle of all my huges so i'm not sure why this is but yeah definitely a cool change just so you can know exactly how much power you are getting which should make it a little more clear for the average player so definitely a good change from big games all right you guys so we are in the final lucky tile area and one thing i just noticed is that you can't get the huge uv cat anymore from the final egg so i'm guessing that's no longer obtainable and it also looks like from the tile floor that the huge uv kitsune is not going to be available from the tiles that means that those huge pets from last week are now exclusive so that is kind of cool now off the bat here let's go and look at some of these upgrades so starting from the top we have that huge chance we have the ticket chance diamonds double items chance egg luck extra damage in the lucky tiles world enchant upgrade chance and potion upgrade chance so if you guys are playing this update i would most definitely go for this ticket chance right away and just upgrade it all the way to the max so that you can keep getting everything and another thing i noticed when i was looking through the exclusive shop at this new exclusive egg is that they didn't actually replace the hoverboards so they didn't put in those three new hoverboards that we saw in the leaks so i wonder if that is going to be next week or if those were just fake and another thing is if you look at these tiles you can get actually up to 10 of these tickets at a time but either way it does seem like the tickets are still pretty rare so it might take quite a bit of time before you can actually afford these upgrades all right you guys so it took quite a bit but i finally got some rave upgrade tickets from the tiles and it looks like they're actually tradable for some reason now i guess this can be a good thing and a bad thing the good news is that you can just go ahead and sell this stuff for a free profit if you guys want to do that the bad news is is that the richest players are going to have all of the upgrades first so all those people are going to have the best chances at getting the new huges as well as even more tickets double items and more one thing that i'm wondering is when i'm looking at this if this double items chance actually has a chance at doubling whatever the amount of tickets you get is because if that's true these two upgrades together will be absolutely insane i think in the video that i'm going to be doing later i'll do some testing and let you guys know which upgrades you should be buying first if this double items chance does double the amount of tickets you get these two together will be 
absolutely crazy. Besides that, I do want to come into this regular world as well and test actually how it is destroying these balloons. So Big Games did say all you have to do is now click on it and yeah, that's that's exactly what you have to do. But that is actually the only balloon in this world. So let's actually head over to the tech world. Now this red balloon here, I can't even click for some reason. So I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, so it doesn't look like it works here in the tech world. So I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. But besides that though, I think that's pretty much it for this update. Look forward to that video later on tonight and let me know down in the comment section what else you want to learn about because I could pretty much just do that video as an all in one for everything you need to know about this update because it didn't seem like there's really that much content in the first place. Another thing that they actually didn't include in this update was that rave chest once again. So it looks like they fully scrapped that idea. Either way though, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in that video later on and peace out.